and I will start the live transcript. So welcome everybody. Um, so I will share my screen as well. Um, so here we go. Um, we have a couple of things that I'd like to talk about today. The first was uh, Yehui wanted to talk about the collaboration between Compass and Chaos. Yehui, I can just share my screen if you want to talk through it, or if you want to share your screen, I could do that too. That's most fun because there's only one slice anyway. Okay, so I can just bring that up right here. Okay. Yeah. I see two slides just to. <laughs> <laughs> Why is one title? <laughs> so, so anyway, I I I just uh, draw up the uh, one slide to describe the precise uh, of the uh, collaboration between Chaos and Compass uh, based on the metrics model uh, lab we are using. Uh, maybe later I can share my screen to show how the metrics lab will work because we already um, deployed on our test environment. But uh, we can go through the slides uh, quickly. Okay. Yeah. First, uh, you can see this is the uh, quite a uh, general flow. Uh, start from our metrics model working group. Uh, here, uh, when when one new metrics model uh, definition part completed, uh, we can. <clears throat> uh, I mean, we 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 have uh, prepared well. Yeah. You know, um, doc, uh, Google documentation, and we can submit as per per request to our metrics model libs. So is is that just the metrics model working group? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. This all chaos metrics hmm. model working group. Got yeah. it. Right here. Yeah. Sean. Yeah. yeah. Just no, no, just no, like it's... yeah, just like a regular process we are handling right now, and then we can decide whether it's needed to be verified by a compass metrics model. Uh, lab. So if we decide, okay, it, it's good to go. And because it uh, the metrics in this metrics model already include uh, all the trace data, we can collect it from different data sources. And uh, we can we can submit a, a issue to the compass metrics model, uh, host on the Git, Git, GitHub. And can I have uh, question, yeah, you can you this, can click that. This diamond right here? What, uh, where does that happen? Is that here in the metrics model working group or is that in Compass? Um, actually, this is the uh, uh, Compass website. Okay. Uh, and uh, the next day, it's, um, um, uh, it's uh, our Compass metrics model GitHub uh, okay. repository. So how do we, this arrow right here? Mm -hmm. how do and we, then we can, we can decide we within here? our working group to say, like okay. like today's meeting, okay. Once a metrics model is has already uh, created uh, on the GitHub in our chaos metrics model lips, and yep. we can discuss. Okay, uh, we can we can decide whether it's needed to be verified uh, okay. by Compass. Yeah. Does does verified mean um, determining whether it's appropriate to add to Compass or what? What's the what does that mean? Verified. Um, verified means uh, because we already have our definition part done uh, in the metrics model, we know uh, how many metrics we already have, uh, the definition of this metrics model. And we can use in a, a compass metrics model, this, mo uh, this Python module uh, to writing down the code to collecting the data and to deploy it with, uh, with real data. Uh, and uh, deploy it on the metrics model lab. Maybe later I can show that uh, on, on the Compass. We have great. designed the front end page for that. That would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th I, th I think my, the real nature of my question was, there may there be possibly some metrics models we choose not to deploy on Compass for different reasons, or is it just really just making sure we can get the data and put it on compass. Mm -hmm. there will, I'm, I'm, I'm just there curious will this, about the step. There will be metrics models that will not end up on compass. For example, the DEI badging metrics models. Yeah, obviously that doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> that would be an example. But, but, uh, but I'm thinking if for the DEI badging, I'm still uh, thinking for the way to fetch those data. If we can provide some REST API for us to, to fetch 
if uh, and I mean the list uh, of the communities are, has already certified by by ODI badging. Yeah, that might, be a, that might be a different metric model, like yep. representation of DEI badges or something like that. Exactly. Okay. So you can continue on. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, after we submit this issue to Compass Metrics model, this GitHub repository, and and uh, uh, we uh, in, within the Compass we will evaluate its uh, technological uh, feasibility to say if it uh, could be fetching the data needed by this metrics model. If it's uh, good to go and uh, we can start implementation and, uh, and finally deployed on the metrics model lab. That's the sh uh, shortly uh, I will demo it uh, later. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, when we have deployed uh, on the metrics model lab, uh, we can have our dis discussion around this metrics model in the chaos forum. I, I think we will have the one uh, forum for, for chaos, but but anyway, we can use Slack for short. And uh, and also Compass Slack also is the field uh, can have such discussion around the matrix model. And, uh, and after it's running, because we already defined the life cycle of this matrix model, uh, you know, verified pre-release and Mature, much after it's mature, uh, mature uh, enough, uh, we will decide is it ready to be deployed on our compass production environment. Uh, so after we decide, okay, it's um, it's it's good enough, and uh, we we can deploy it on uh, on the uh, production environment. The the, uh, the the difference between the production environment and the and the metrics lab is that. Uh, the data side, is, data data side scope is different. On the metrics model lab, uh, for each of the single metrics model, we will provide around ten or twenty um, uh, projects to test uh, this metrics model. And in the production environment, it's uh, it would be deployed for for all the uh, projects. I mean, uh, hosted on the GitHub or Getty, we we had. Uh, in the compass, currently it's uh, already um, over a thousand uh, repositories. Uh, so <clears throat> uh, after we deploy on the production environment, we will provide inside report uh, on chaos. That that's what should be done by our chaos members to say, okay, this is the environment, uh, this is the test result, and we have done for the verification and we, be, we could provide some uh, real data insight based on the metrics model uh, 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 together with the definition part we already done uh, earlier. Would that, would that live here? Like as part yes. of the- Yes, exactly. You know, yeah. Part, uh, as one of the, okay. Sure, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead. And, uh, and uh, after we provide support, and uh, uh, here I uh, 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 would uh, say uh, that this metrics model had finished its uh, uh, work before release. And then uh, we will, uh, except for the release on the chaos, we also deployed on the compass production environment. And I hope um, in the production environment, uh, uh, we could uh, add some uh, logo of the chaos to say this metrics model is powered by chaos. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> to to say, okay, this is this this metrics model is coming from chaos. And then uh, and we, because I'm thinking in the future, uh, if we treat chaos metrics model as an international standard, I mean in choose, um, there are not only one platform like compass to would, would like to implement such metrics model there would be more so i hope more uh, platform would uh, would add such logo to say okay this metrics model is powered by chaos so something like that i like that i have no problem yeah. with that and yeah. also yep go ahead yeah and also uh, uh, in each metrics model in chaos 
maybe you can add uh, something like uh, this matrix model is already verified by Compass and listed some link or, or something like that to so add to that. In our metrics, we have, um, in our metrics, not our metrics models, but we have a header called implementations or something mm -hmm. like that. And we yep. list the, the tools that implement the metric and we can pretty easily to the template add an implementations component sure. and yep. point directly to, to yep. Compass. Because, yep. I'm, because I'm thinking uh, not, not just uh, uh, Compass, like Augur, like Cogen, more uh, and more uh, other platform would uh, provide such support. Yep. So we could add implementation part of yep. our metrics modeling. Kits. That would be very easy to do. And that yeah, could be, that that could be. be an, an easy <clears throat> pull request against <clears throat> the existing definition. Like when the definition is in this part, the implementation section is empty. But by the time it gets here, <laughs> we just simply add yeah, the yeah. development to the definition. Um, so I had a few questions. So um, it is possible for somebody to submit a metric model in theory that doesn't come from chaos to to the lab is that correct or yeah not okay. not only from chaos uh, not only uh, from chaos but we are also welcome the metrics model from other uh, if, if anybody chooses to develop yeah it. yeah exactly okay yeah which is but, no, uh, no problem but uh, one thing that i would like you to know or uh, like chaos to notice that anybody to submit um, uh, such request to 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 the compass we will uh, uh, discuss with them and uh, and uh, recommend them to submit uh, 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 this model to chaos okay so so it can go wait. through the official review process yes of. okay like you might want to i was thinking like here if i don't know how but if somebody is submitting if they're in this step right here yep submit the issue to compass metrics model mm -hmm. that if it's not coming from chaos it's possible that the metric model might be in a different format than what we mm -hmm. use in our template mm -hmm. we may want to guide people to to at least have some i think we can reuse the template we already have uh, yes. we, we defined in chaos That'd and we perfect. can follow the uniformed template that so, would be make things easy yeah I, I agree that's where i was yeah. going with that okay great um and then i think that's the me one question that i had just workflow wise um okay and then the insight report would be we would spend time probably in this meeting to talk through a mm -hmm. deployed metric model. Yeah, how it works to see how it works. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Can you go yeah, back sure. to the slide uh, for a second? So we release the metric model even without implementation. So it'll be a two-phase release, like release at the impl uh, without implementation and release uh, the last box in the release on the chaos, which is after implementation. So it'll be a two-phase release of the model. If I'm understanding correctly, I think if it's good to be implemented, uh, I think we we are fine with um, this definition part done, and without any implementation due to some uh, limitations, uh, we would um, promote people to create more matrix model, uh, not right. bound into the implementation. Yeah, but uh, yeah. if it's if it's possible to be implemented like uh, implemented by Compass, um, it's it's good to go. Uh, okay. It's the only difference with these two matrix model is that like, like Matt mentioned, uh, one matrix model without implementation yeah. uh, only have definition, and uh, if they have any uh, tools to support such implementation, we can add implementation section into this. A matrix model definition part to tell them uh, how so, it works with the, with the data inside. Yeah. That so I think this is this this yes. metric model, Vinod. Yes, is the same as this one. Yep. You know what yep. I mean? They are the yes. same. So this right. is just the release of the definition, and this could say release of implementation on chaos oh. or or 
addition of implementation, you know, or inclusion of implementation or inclusion of implementation and insights really is what it okay. would be. Okay. okay. I, think just... I was trying to envision, okay, how does it, the second release after implementation looks like? Just, you know, I have that previous okay. background of release of model. Yeah. Uh, yeah just trying to it'll, like that. It'll just be like, what was the one you were working on? Was it community activity? I forget. There was one you were working on that only has a definition at this point. Uh, yeah. Like this, this could be the release of, yes. this would be a, a, a release moment, essentially. Right. And then it would, this model would then follow this. Mm -hmm. And once it goes into production, or at least we start gaining insights, there would be clearly new folders that would come with this now. Okay. Okay. That would that would not only update the definition but also describe the implementation. Okay. Is that right, Yuhui? Did I say that correctly? Yep. Yep. Okay. Just making right. sure I understand. And then do you want to show the lab, Yuhui? I can stop my share and yeah, sure. Okay. I can, I can share my screen. Yep. Let me, I have to make you co-host here. Oh, you okay. we are running many tests. So if you can see this is the production environment and uh, we currently we already have uh, uh, the different uh, language uh, to uh, to make it available for for the people in chinese in china and and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and global people and uh, here we can focus on the matrix model lab And this page so we are prepared is, for. This is only on Giddy, is that right? No, it's uh, it's available for for Giddy and GitHub. No, but like yes. the URL at the top, compass.giddy.co.lab. It's not on. Uh -huh. This is the test uh, environment. Uh, after it's uh, uh, deployed on the production environment, it should be uh, added one type here, like live. How did, you get, how did you get there from the screen you're on right now? I was looking for this. Uh, this is a test that you can, you can see the, the oh, okay. is it's different. Okay. <laughs> you can't get there from OSS-Compass. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. But anyway, you can see this. I, 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 can, I can send this link to you. I think I've seen this or you shared a screenshot of it anyway. And uh, and uh, because currently we haven't had any new matrix model from chaos, we use some old matrix model to to uh, describe how it work how it works. Um, and so after we uh, decide to uh, uh, to verify a matrix model into the, uh, by by compass, we will submit issue as uh, pretend we already. Uh, finished uh, implementation around this matrix model, and we will deploy it on the Compass Lab. And this is the area to show how it uh, how it works currently. So for each for each of single matrix model, we will use like I mentioned uh, a couple of um, uh, matrix uh, sorry uh, open source communities to verify this new matrix model, and uh, for the for the scope of, of the uh, communities, we can discuss it through the issue. Uh, we submit on the Compass um, uh, matrix model. Uh, we could provide uh, uh, like uh, a scope to say, okay, this matrix model is better to be verified some specific areas like AI, machine learning uh, framework or database specific areas, or we can random to select uh, some uh, projects from Gitty or GitHub, both, or I, I just, or I, I'm only interested on in the projects available on the Gitty or GitHub, that's both fine. So we can select like 10 or 20 um, um, communities or projects okay. to verify sense. that. So that and also uh, answers Sean's question a little bit, what, like what, yeah, what yeah. verify means. Yeah, no, no, I understand it a lot better now. Yep. And the video, we will provide a discussion. Uh, this this uh, link we are linked to our uh, uh, channel. Uh, our Slack channel. channel looks like yeah, a Slack, Slack symbol there. Yeah. Because in Slack, 
channel, we would uh, have uh, this matrix model channel. We can discuss it uh, around this um, um, matrix model. And also, uh, if you think uh, it's, uh, uh, if you want, we can add more, uh, one more link to the, to the chaos uh, matrix, uh, matrix model. Uh, Slack channel anyway, or forum. So we support both uh, communication channel to be to be available uh, for this live discussion. Okay. Yeah, and uh, and uh, also for each of single um, uh, matrix model, we will provide the link. For example, this is uh, uh, um, uh, after it de deployed, we will add it this as a link, and the link with uh, our uh, count, uh, matrix model, like uh, chaos definition part. Yep. And that one has been finished. And that's also part of the agenda today. Yeah, like, like here. Yeah. So this link will jump to here to let people to, uh, to say this uh, matrix model would understand how, how it okay. uh, composed of the different matrix model. And uh, for each of single matrix, uh, model uh, with uh, with uh, specific uh, uh, repositories, we will see the result to check it how it works. And uh, and here um, we should decide on or maybe not today's meeting, but in the future uh, if there's a new matrix model come up, we will decide how to uh, uh, calculate this matrix model. With different metrics, if we use some uh, um, algorithm already uh, defined in the definition part, that's okay. really good. Uh, but if doesn't have any, we can use some uh, some uh, you know default algorithm we already have uh, to be available uh, for for all the for the matrix model. So can I ask a question, Yui? Yep. So when the um... The definition is complete, mm -hmm. and we decide that we would like to move this to the lab, into this location here. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the what do we have to do as a as a working group to get that in here? Nothing. Just say here's here's a definition. Please, please put it in the lab. Is that all we do? You know, like I'm trying to, there's a big jump between a markdown file that's a definition <laughs> and and what you're showing here. And I'm just trying to understand how Because I, I think in our metrics model working group, we can discuss the, the verify result, uh, how it works on the different, uh, on the different um, repositories uh, with, we choose. And to see, uh, does it really work or to meet our expectations uh, at the beginning, we, we, we have intention to define that. So we will decide, is it mature enough? Because currently we can decide, uh, uh, as I mentioned, each metrics model in this lab would have a, a life cycle. So yes. in our metrics model working group, we can decide which life cycle phase uh, is state at currently for the, for the different metrics model. For example, um, and this, uh, this new metrics model, uh, at the beginning, it should be uh, stayed on some phase like uh, uh, test ongoing. And after um, we think, after we have some round of discussion, I th we okay. think it's both, uh, it's ready to be released. We can, I did that or defined as a phase of pre-release okay. phase. And so who does the work to get this metrics model running in the lab? Like, I just, I don't know if this uh, is- I like, think, uh, I think uh, in our Compass community, we will provide uh, the, okay. the first the support, uh, not just the coding implementation, but also including the infrastructure support. Okay. That was that, that answers my question. I was just yeah. basically I'm one of the I'm just trying to get like a that model that you showed on the web on the slide, just trying to understand where who has what, <laughs> you know, who owns what parts. Yeah. 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 
that model. Okay, no, that helps. Thank you. Sean, does this help you too with the lab? Kind yeah, of I mean, that... no, no. I mean, I mean, I think um, implementing the metrics models and compass in this way is excellent. Um, do we still want to maintain the same way that we define metrics models? Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's still the same. So that whole definition and 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 actually that's part of a conversation I want to have a little bit today too. But yes. Okay. Okay, so then Yahui, the way I'd understand it is looking at code quality guarantee. Um, this would be deployed in the lab. We would take a look at the results. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? And yep. we, would, we would discuss kind of what we're seeing and how we understand the results with respect to the different repositories that we've, that this is being pointed at. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. And then where where is the decision to move this into production? How is that made? By who? Uh, you uh, in our metrics model working group, we can give such uh, uh, our decision that okay, we think this this metrics model is mature enough, and already meet such metrics model uh, 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 expectations. Okay. And uh, after after you uh, in our chaos metrics model working group make such decision, and our compass. Community would decide when it would be deployed um, on the production environment, okay. because we have to also consider other uh, conditions, like whether it's a uh, meet uh, the, our uh, calculation resources. I mean the infrastructure resources. Yep. But uh, anyway, uh, once you submit a poor request, uh, sorry, once you some or we submit an issue to the mm -hmm. metrics model working group. And we, uh, we achieved agreement that that we would put it on the metrics lab. It's more or less we hope this metrics model is ready to be deployed on the production okay. finally. Okay. So to send that the signal that we think it's ready for production, we could just uh, append or add to the initial issue. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm just trying to think of how to communicate that as well. Okay. That'd be the easiest way. Okay. Great. Um, super. Hey, I, can, I, can, I can stop my sharing. Yeah, yeah. You can stop your sharing. Were there questions for Yehui? Elizabeth, you look like Yeah, um, I was just thinking uh, about the, the status of the metrics models, and maybe we could add that as like a keyword or something, just so yeah. we kind of check of, of it somewhere. Or, or would we want to just keep it in the spreadsheet as a status? Like yeah, we can we can define that define that phases for the different stages. Yeah. Like as yeah, the, I mean, it, as it the model be, is maturing, you mean? Yeah, as it's like in different stages of like, oh, it's in the lab, oh, it's verified, oh, it's oh, know, I like, see what you're, I mean, it's, yeah, like, you, it's you, just you, a definition at this point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we just kind of keep it track whether we keep it internal or put it out on the website. Um, but just so everybody kind of knows where stuff is and how where it stands might be nice. That's a good idea. Um, I think the spreadsheet might be a good place to start with that. So let me take a look at that, but I like that. Okay. I think just somewhere in here, even if just re remarks was status or something like that. Okay. Yeah, just so we can keep track. Okay. That's a good idea. Maybe, maybe we can have hmm. a drop down list of different uh, status oh, and then we can just select the one. Like this. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That's that's good. Good to do. Um, okay. Great. I guess while I'm here, I'll just make a quick note that code quality guarantee and community service and support are completed as definitions now in metrics model. There are some work that needed to be done around those, and they are uh, just all complete. So. And also, maybe if for the code quality guarantee, we, <clears throat> after we demo it to the many different people or, or working group or organizations, we think that this code, uh, this metrics model name, 
it's not like linked closely to the definition uh, on, okay. on the matrix model uh, and the matrix matrix in this matrix model. So uh, we have some we collect some suggestions to change this in no name, problem. not a new. One. That is that's e that is easy. <laughs> that is not a problem. So, but I do think it's ready to go just based on all the feedback we had. Um, yeah, all the insights. So. Good on that. Okay, great. Um, just you, if you want to make a few name suggestions, just post an issue and we, right. can, yeah. we can take care of that. Sure. Mostly because I'd like to kind of keep a lot of this work going even over break, me, myself. I know that we're not going to be meeting for a while just because we're on break. You know what I mean? Here yep, in the yep. States. And so we can either do it in Slack or uh, through issues. Okay. Sure. Um, so we do, okay, so I just, uh, let me stop for just a second. I'm gonna bring up, um, share my screen again. So um, so our, our, our website has been, been updated. One of the things that we've been doing, just so people know, is we have a lot of metrics, like 80 metrics, individual metrics. And it's been, kind of a long time coming that we need to organize these a little bit better because for a long time, the 80 metrics was just a long list of 80 metrics. So we've been working through, and this is these are the topic areas and metrics models. This is the context and keywords. So this these particular tags are related to, so if you see community software ecosystem, uh, community ecosystem, software, you know what I mean? These tags are gonna place the metrics models in these different categories. So it's kind of where we choose to place the metrics models um, as well as search keywords. So right now we have not deployed the metrics models in here yet. Um, we are gonna add two more tiles, one here, it's gonna say show all metrics. And we are gonna have another tab here or a tile here that says show all metric models. So it'll just be the complete collection of every, if anybody wants to just browse everything. Um, but at this, at this point, so this is all the metrics that we have at the moment. And so any metric model that is tagged software, they will also start showing up in this list. So I was, Elizabeth, could, do you think you could maybe like try to get one metric model <laughs> into this? Cause you kind of, you know what I mean? Like as I a do. tester, like, yeah. get code quality guarantee through WordPress, you know, just kind of that whole process. And so that when we click on whatever we have it tagged as, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. I will just uh, double check with Kevin that he's not already doing that. I don't but think yeah. he is. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yep. I can do that. No problem. But just as a tester, so we could just start seeing maybe the first one show up here. Because once we can get that process down, you know what I mean? To get yeah. on that model in here, I'd like to start kind of populating these in here. So, mm -hmm. yeah, for sure. Um, can I add a uh, action item? Where, yeah. Where yeah, I'll do that. No worries. Okay, thanks. It's just, it's right in there. But I think we're in a, in a state where we can start doing that. Okay, um, cool. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, any questions on kind of what I'm talking about here? Again, this is just a way to organize on the website our, our metrics and our metrics models. And we're, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out just in terms of an organization scheme for people. Um, okay, so the last thing on the agenda today is um, just kind of the way we work as a metric model working group. So just, um, there's something in the chat, okay, cool. Um, we're, the way we have worked um, with respect to metrics in the chaos project really prior to the metric model working group is we would have different working groups focused on say risk or evolution. And we would basically just start the meeting by saying, hey, does anybody have a metric that they would like to develop? And then we would say, yes, there's this individual atomic metric and we should develop it. And the metric kind of stood alone. That was kind of how we did work in the chaos project for a long time. It was kind of building up, say, the metric assets for a while. This is, I, I personally see this changing um, in the chaos project in 2023. 
So I see the development of metrics coming from a couple different places, and one is the metric model working group. So as metric models are being deployed, we have started to notice that like we see deficiencies <laughs> in the metrics that are available. And it's a requirement then that we have to build the metric to fulfill the metric model. So it's this isn't just somebody saying this is a metric that we need individually. <laughs> this is somebody saying this is a metric we need that's part of a, a collection. Um, I also um, we're also doing work with um, some folks around project badging, not just like event badging, but projects to receive DEI uh, DEI badges. And Elizabeth, I see this as something quite similar that we're going to have talks with folks in in different groups, and they're going to say, you know, I would really like a metric around this particular component of DEI, and then it's going to be our responsibility to develop the, the metric so that it can fit the, the initiative of badging. Like the, the approach is a little bit different. And then lastly, I see this as a little bit different. Um, we're, Yuhui and Liang and June, I don't know if you know, but we're, we're really doing quite a bit of work now. I think it came up in the last call too with Asia Pacific, um, but with the to-do group and uh, organizations that are looking for particular metric models to answer very specific organizational questions. And so the same deal, I see the metrics kind of showing up that way. So that's kind of my, my lead in. So the, the question then becomes, would we in this working group allow an, another working group to simply develop a metric model and contribute it here? Oops, not here. Oh yeah, there, <laughs> here. Like, would we allow the, the common working group as an example to develop a metric model and simply contribute it as a pull request? We would still review it here in the metric model working group, but the common working group would develop the metric model as opposed to the common metric working group submitting an issue for us to develop the model. You see what I'm saying? It's a I think it, I think we should allow such way working uh, to be to be uh, available uh, to accept more suggestions, no matter uh, from the different working group. I agree. This this, this new idea may be triggered from common common group or triggered from evolution working group. That's that's fun. That's super fun. We okay because we have to consider the different background. Of this specific working group, also considering considering the time differences, because yeah. we have many different people from many different time differences zones. Right, we have against all the conditions. Okay, I I agree with you. I just wanted to confirm that everybody was okay with that, because I I, I would like to encourage the working groups to develop models as well. So I, I think uh, I think we have done it in the past too. Uh, so for example, from the uh, value now OSPO working group, we have contributed one model we developed over there, yep. and we have contributed over here as a just a definition, not as a deployment, but as a definition in terms of a model and contributed. Perfect. Over. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And we would just, I mean, we would just accept a pull request from the working yes. group directly into yep. the metric model working group, like cross. Yep. And so I think if that's the case, what I'm going to do is I need to, in the new year, spend a little bit of time in each working group showing them the metric model template and talking about what that metric model template is and where they would issue a pull request and just kind of what the repository looks like, just so we don't get a mess of pull requests. Exactly. Again. So I would just I, like to formalize And that. also, uh, so what our working group should should stand for? Should uh, should uh, prepare except for the pull request template or, or, or issue template. I mean the metrics model template. Maybe we can we can give some. Uh, I mean, making some decision that is it ready to go to be yes. uh, uh, to be released or, or deployed uh, or verified by Compass. Or yes, I agreed. Decision. I mean, once it ends up as a pull request here in this working group. It would be something that we could discuss on this call. Like, is this a good <laughs> metric model, <laughs> or do we have do we have concerns that we need to send back to the working group that proposed it? Yep. Okay. But I, but anyway, we should give them the uh, let them freely uh, to create such pull request. They yes. they should ready to go. Yeah. 
Okay, so, but I, I will do that. It'll start in the new year, but I'll be very explicit about that. And I think even at ChaosCon, this is something that I could talk about as well, that we're encouraging models, because I think this is a new shift in how we're going to be developing metrics and metrics models. Um, this, the same, though, then would hold true is if, if the metric model working group, if we are here and uh, taking a look at whatever, like this definition, and we're missing a metric is it should it be our responsibility to to develop the metric or at least a starter <laughs> for the metric <laughs> i got <laughs> it for the working I, <laughs> I would say um, i would say we have done it in the past also like if we feel there is a missing metric we can create in a new metric proposed metric in a relevant working group to be developed and give some preliminary context or the ideas that we want to see the metric being developed and then working group has been working on developing that metric. Yes, I, I think it would be in our best interests if we at least used the metric template and yes. provided it in an issue or a pull request to the working group where we think it's most useful. It would just be a, sometimes starting the metric is the hardest part. And, and I also think that um, I had taken all of the metrics that weren't developed yet and placed them in the existing working groups where we think they should be developed. My concern is, is that in that working group, a lot of context gets lost as to what, <laughs> what they're supposed to do. Yep. yep. And if we can provide that, like, uh, the description and the overview, just a little bit of text, I think it would help a lot. Yeah, maybe we yeah. can follow in the matrix matrix template to yes. writing down some draft for that. Exactly. And I think if we started that, then that would be easy enough to give back. I see a hundred percent from Elizabeth <laughs> on that. Okay. Just Great. from experience I, from being in the evolution working group and trying to reverse engineer where the inspiration for a metric came from and like yes. what's what we were thinking behind it. So yeah. And I would also say it will also help just ease the burden a little bit on the working groups. Who may have already other stuff going on but yeah i know in evolution we have a long list and so we're slowly getting through them but it would be definitely faster if there was some starting points on some of that go ahead you do you have a comment yeah yeah i i totally agree yeah okay i think this doesn't add any work overall within the chaos project i actually think it collectively reduces the burden of the work <laughs> To be honest with you, because this is work that needs to be done somewhere anyway, and I think it would be a little bit more efficient to do it in this regard. Okay, uh, great. Um, that was it. So that was that was my last comment for everybody. I just wanted to get some agreement on that, and I'll, I can start kind of just moving that and circulating that in the chaos project. It'll just take a little bit of discussion, so everybody kind of agrees. It's basically this discussion in every working group. Okay, and then. A reminder, we have no chaos working group meetings for about a month, so we're just not meeting here. That said, there are many of the groups that are just continuing to work on Slack that can continue to work in the repository, so that's not a problem there. Um, it, it, it becomes a, a quieter time, but I don't know. I always say that, and then I'm like, I answer Slack messages like in five minutes. So <laughs> they follow the community pattern. In, 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 exactly. In the exactly. In the <laughs> <laughs> and we're about we're in one of those spots right now. So yeah. All like right. We not mentioned we already stepped into the you know, December silence pattern. Yes, we're yeah. in the December pattern. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, that's great. So everybody will will see you again in in January, but you know, we will certainly communicate um be, before then. So it was great to see everybody and and thanks for everybody's work. Yeah, I would say pre-Christmas. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. Take care. Bye. Yeah, take care. Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye.